I think you've got to be very careful before you embark on the re-edit thing. You know, so often I find the, the, the break section of a record is only the best bit of the record because it precedes a shit part. Do you see what I mean? Or, or, so it's, I've, I've, I honestly feel like making, taking like Apache by Incredible Bongo Band and leaving out the break and just edit the chorus over and over again so the break never comes. And the crowd, that really get people going, you know, because all the time I hear like, like that, um, we listened just a while ago to a um, Crusaders edit, and whoever had edited it had taken out the, the middle eight, the bridge section, which for me, although it's not the most happening section, it leads you in to, to the, the good part, and that's what makes the good part good, you know? So um, editing's not something to be taken lightly. Well, black cock is uh, flaccid as we as we speak. Uh, I haven't, there hasn't there nothing. Yeah, we haven't done anything for quite some time. But yeah, we started in. I think the first one was like very early '90s, and that was um, as a direct result of uh, Larry, my and Larry's uh, relationship. He played uh, an edit of um, South Shore Commission's Free Man, which I wanted to get hold of. Um, and when I you know, had worked out how he'd got the version, you know, it was, it was a, a, a tape edit cut onto, onto acetate. So I, I looked into that, and my first edit was of South Shore Commission Freeman, you know, basically trying to, trying to make the version that I'd heard Larry play. Um, and we then went on to, we being me and my partner Jerry Rooney, um, went on to release, I think, seven volumes of uh, the Black Cock re-edits of various um, disco, you know, disco stuff and obscure kind of cosmic, Balearic, whatever you want to call it, uh, music. Black Cock's so uh, wrong, if you like. I mean, we use Foghorn Leghorn, who's a Warner yeah. Brothers <laughs> thing. You know, it's completely... Um, I mean, I know I made him black in, 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 the, in this thing, but... Um, I suppose, I mean, it, it'll never happen, man. That, that they're gone, they're, they're done and gone, and, and that's it. And the people that own them can, can enjoy them, and, and that's it. You know? And they also have been bootlegged. Have Do they? You, yeah, they have. Oh, who's done you know who's done it? No. <laughs> no, I mean, I'd be, in, I'd be interested to get the copies. I, they, what, they're for sale? Uh, on eBay, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, also, we you can also get T-shirts there. Oh, really? Oh, well, that's... <laughs> Oh, a lot of black cock merchandising really? going on. Wow. Well, there you go. Someone's doing very well. There's a grey area which is allowed to exist with the, within the sampling world. And um, they won't come after you for money unless you've got money to give them. So if anyone was to come to me and say, right, I want the, the profit from black cock, I'd be, look, mate, you owe me ten bucks for promoting your ass, we didn't make any money, you know, so, um, and then if by any chance these records were to become very popular and there was money to be made, few artists turn that down, you know, few artists were like, oh no, well, I don't want to make any money, I don't want to relaunch my career, if someone came to me and said like, we, you know, we want a, a percentage of the profit, then great, you know, no, no, no worries.